Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited because I pulled out so much brand spanking new drugstore items. I'm actually gonna give you like a little glimpse at my table, like I'll do a little Tati cam because we're gonna try it all on. We're gonna, you know, get ready, do kind of a chit chat, get ready, trying new, super affordable makeup. But look at what I got here. I mean, there is so much going on. Maybelline, Physicians Formula, Elf, Models Own, Eyelure. We just have so much. <laughs> J-Cat Beauty, my deodorant, which is a drugstore. I'm having a moment where I really wanna discover some incredible drugstore affordable products to recommend to you guys because I really want my channel to be representative of great products in a variety of different price ranges. So we're gonna hope that some of this works out incredibly well, and if it doesn't, I will give you my first impression scoop on that also. The lighting is gonna kind of be like up, down, here, there, everywhere because the sun keeps just being covered by the clouds and I do use some natural light for lighting my videos, so I apologize in advance. It's just gonna happen. We're still gonna film. We're gonna start out with the number seven Airbrush Away Primer. I'm just going to smooth this all over my skin. This is going to minimize the look of pores and fine lines and prime the face. It's like a lotion, but silicone kind of pore filling primer feel hybrid. Interesting texture. This is gonna be a huge gamble. I have really wanted to try this, but I have hesitation that it will come off really thick. This is new from Physicians Oh my God, why can't I say that? It literally, every time, if you guys only knew how often I edit out Physicians Formula, because saying that for me is just really hard. This is new from Physicians Formula. This is from their new collection, the Since 1937. It's the La Velvet Foundation. And I haven't used a good cream foundation in a long time. I used to be really into it. So we're gonna see how this goes down. Ooh, okay, that's very nice feeling. These colors though do not look that great. I'm gonna mix these two together. I have the shade Sand Beige and Cream Ivory. I am swirling my brush in both pans and we're just gonna hope for the best, guys. Let's go in. That's some coverage. Oh my gosh. I am pretty much blown away and shocked at how this looks on my skin right now. I wanna see how this wears all day, but holy cow, are you kidding me? That gave really nice coverage. It was easy to blend around my nose. It just looks really good everywhere right now. So, yes. Clearly I need some concealer. I don't really know what, what the deal is with this. It says it's a pat away concealing base. It says to pat onto dark circles, redness, uneven skin tone, uh, or you can mix this into a moisturizer for a sheer finish. This is by Pixi. This is the pat away base. We're gonna try shade number two. Look at that applicator, are you for real? Uh, okay. It does have kind of like a foamy feel to it. I don't know. I don't know you guys, we're gonna have to see. And this is a very yellow shade, clearly super yellow undertoned. Uh, not bad. That actually covered up my dark circles quite nicely. So let's go in and set everything with a little bit of powder. I have from Maybelline the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have not had a chance to try this yet. I have the shade Light and Light Medium. Let's just kind of take a peek at how light medium is because I'm feeling kind of blanked out a little bit. I'm just gonna more tap it into the skin. So I lightly get a little bit of a more matte finish. Really, why do I always do this? I get makeup in my hair. This is surprisingly nice. I normally gravitate more toward translucent powders, but this is really nice. I like it. This is not from the drugstore, but it is incredibly affordable. And a lot of you guys ask me to try out more BH Cosmetics products. So we're gonna play with this contour palette today, if I can open it. Oh. Smells kind of chemically. Okay, um, I'm gonna go in with 
my Eda brush. I know my brushes are expensive. There's kind of a mix between some Morphe brushes, Sonia Kashuk brushes, Smashbox, NARS. I'm kind of all over the place and I don't have enough drugstore brushes right now to just do drugstore brushes for the tutorial. So I'm gonna see how all these products work with what my normal setup is. So I am gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go over here into this guy. I kind of want to do live tutorials sometime in the near future because I really feel like, you know, when I'm talking to the camera, I'm getting ready with you guys, but there's a part of me that wants to be like, hmm, not bad, what do you guys think? And then you guys could be like, it sucks. Use something else, woman. Because isn't that the fun part of getting ready? You know, I have three sisters and when we get ready, we talk about everything. We'll be like, oh, have you seen this? Oh my gosh, look, it's so beautiful, isn't it? And then other times we'll be like, does this foundation match me? Did I blend okay down my neck? And you know, that whole getting ready process, I love sometimes more than the event. Isn't that funny? Like sometimes I just love hanging out with my girls and getting ready and just having that whole ritual. I just, I'm into it. So the same way that if you go into the crease and you wanna buff out color a little bit better, you can take a clean brush and go along your contour and kind of do the same thing. I will do that sometimes if I'm really taking my time with my makeup. I'm gonna go into that same color and go a little bit more intensely on the nose. So to warm up the rest of the face, I am gonna go in with this Jane Cosmetics Inspire Bronzer. Now, I used to love this. They've repackaged and reformulated a few things, so I'm gonna check out if this is still the same deal. I think it will be. The lighting is making me crazy. It is getting so bright in here, and then it's getting like super, super dark. This is kind of not even showing up. What am I doing wrong here? The color on this is really pretty. You have to work hard to build this up though. This is one of those items that is not available at the drugstore, but it's under 10 bucks and I just wanted to test it out. It's been sitting in my two try pile for a while. This is a pressed powder blush from ColourPop and we're just gonna go in with a little dip. This is my Sonia Kashuk number. I've used it so much, the number rubbed off brush. A really, really good one. Creepy blush face. We're gonna take this guy that is made in Korea, available on eBay. This is, I believe, around $10, $12. Spoolie on one side, and it looks like it's going to be a nice, slim pencil. It looks a lot more like red-toned than I thought it would be. This is the shade Deep Brown. We're gonna see how this works out. The pencil itself is nice. It's a little bit red looking to me. My younger sister hates it so much when people go like this with their eyebrows. And it's one of these weird things that as children, we would like run around and like force her to look at us and be like, and she hates it. She's like, don't do that. It gives me weird feelings. It gives me the creeps. And she hates it. And the funny thing is she has the most precious little baby that is, I believe Logan is like nine months now, 10 months. This baby actually raises his eyebrows. He will always be super expressive, like he'll smile and then he'll go. To fill things in a little bit further, I'm gonna take this Eye Lure Brow Kit. This is a brow powder, wax, and then a highlight. And it comes with a little applicator. I'm not so sure about this, but we're gonna go in with it anyway. Brows are a lot darker than usual. What do you guys think about it? Um, wait for everything else to be on my face because I know when you have a darker brow and everything else is blank, it can look very, very strange. But I think this is pretty good. I'm kind of, you know, I hear you guys in the comments. You're always like, bolder brow, do a bolder brow. And I tiptoe in that area. And then sometimes I overboard and I'm like, oh, I look like Sesame Street and you know, just. Let me know. Finally, we are gonna get to the eyes. I am gonna prime my eyes with this In Your Prime Ultimate Eye Primer from Flower. I'm really excited to try this out. It looks very profesh, like the packaging with the rose gold and black. I like it. This is available at Walmart. And my eyes are kind of creasing already from a little bit of that concealer. So we're just gonna kind of tap this in on top. 
and very quickly powder. I'm actually gonna take some of the lighter shades in this BH palette and just kind of tap that in. We're playing with an extraordinarily affordable matte palette from Hard Candy. You can find this at Walmart as well. I think it's great to find a big palette like this with all matte shades. This is 10 bucks, so really great pricing for what you get, unless it's awful. We're gonna go in with my Morphe M501 that I use almost every day as a high transition. I've talked about this over and over again. It's kind of my thing at the moment. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Not the most blendy thing that I have experienced, but not horrible either. Oh, this concealer is already creasing. Gosh, dang it. We are gonna go a uh, shade darker right next door. So these shadows you definitely can build up and what I'm guessing is that it's really gonna be hit or miss. This first one was quite patchy. This one is actually nice and smooth. There's not a lot of kickback on here, so it's not a dusty palette, but there definitely is pigment there. So for 10 bucks, I'm thinking this is not bad. I'm gonna go into the almost black shade, which is dangerous. Why am I doing this? <laughs> So now what I wanna do is crack into this quad, which this is very exciting because Ardell has launched beauty products. They're available at Sally's. I think this is around $12.99, um, but Sally's has their little like discount program. You can probably get it cheaper on sale or something like that. This looks so pretty. Um, that's pretty. They're a lot firmer than I thought they would be. Looking at it, it looks like it would be very soft, cushy type of a feel. I'm gonna put this shade right here all over my lid. And this is called the Ardell Sensual Eyes Palette. This is in the quad Let's Live. And I'm now thinking of Snoop Dogg again. And the reason I brought up Sensual Seduction randomly in a recent video, what was the product? I think it was a lipstick named Sensual. Um, in the Sephora lip kit. And I was like, where's that song from? Oh my gosh, why do I have sensual seduction stuck in my head? I realized that I actually auditioned for that music video. I am not making this up. I remember going to the audition to be um, kind of like an extra in the music video. And the instruction from my agent was to make my hair really big, like 80s. So I went in a tube dress, really huge teased hair. And we go in and it was the weirdest audition. They literally lined us up and I had to wear a like keyboard guitar thing, you know, that you put over your body. And they had a little boom box and they played the song and they're like, all right, everybody, dance. And I remember standing there like, and I'm just standing there like, no direction on how to move with it with this weird thing in my hand and a little boom box in a little room with a bunch of people staring at you and a bunch of people behind you. And they played the music for maybe like 30 seconds and then it stopped and they're like, all right, thank you. Um, and I'm in a tube dress with hair out to here and I just remember stopping at Trader Joe's on the way home and shopping for groceries like that. Just being like, what is my life? I have a few highlighters from e.l.f. that are newer. I have Sunset Glow, which is really, really pretty. We might use this. And I have Starlight Glow. I think I wanna use Starlight Glow and I'm actually gonna use this to brighten up the eye look that we have going because I just feel like it's a little bit dark. And that did the trick. All right, we're gonna put this on the high points of the face as well, just to kind of tie the look together. Sometimes I really love doing that using the highlighter that I'm gonna use on the face, on the eyes, and it just gives this kind of nice monochromatic, really glowy look. All right, moving back to the eyes, we're gonna try out a felt tip eyeliner that is called the Magical Ink Eyeliner. I love the word magical. It gives me a lot of hope. So let's see if this works. Nice felt tip, and well, that's nice. Ooh, I have hope. That went on like some of my very, very expensive eyeliners. I am really, really impressed with this. 
For lashes, we are going to try out this Volume Plus Active Mascara. Now this was sent to me from a subscriber and I just wanna say thank you so much for the sweet note. And I treasure anything that you guys ever send me, please know that. And I don't get to show everything on camera, but I do try to. So this is from Amy and she loves this mascara. So we're gonna give it a good whirl. Look at that pine cone wand. That looks like a, a little tree. This is really impressive. This is a nice brush. Because of the tapered corner, you can really get in there and you can reach these harder to uh, get to lashes. And I like it. Not bad. Uh, however, I still wanna pop on false lashes because I'm just going for it. And we're trying to do everything A to Z with makeup that is not $50 plus, you know? So this is from iLore. These are the Exaggerate number 143. These lashes are pretty great. They're a little uncomfortable, like I can feel the band for some reason, but they're nice and short and they're not hovering over my eyebrows. So if you have that small space issue like I do, this is a really nice style. And I am trying something kind of daring. We could be spoiling the whole look right now, but I wanted to test out a liquid lip from Models Own. Do I really wanna do this? It might look bad, but I really wanna try these two products. So we're just gonna go for it and start with this guy right here that is going to dry down matte. Then we're gonna take a J-Cat Beauty Lip Topper and, ooh, whoa. Okay, that's really pretty. This is the shade Candy Cane. It is a whipped matte lip, which usually is not my favorite, but because I'm putting a topper over it, um, we're just gonna hope for the best. Dude, I like this. Okay, so on top, we're gonna take this Lip Tonics. This is from J-Cat Beauty, and I cannot find the names of the shades on here. I'll list it in the description box below, but just to give you an idea of the different ones that they have, I have swatched these. I haven't put them on my lips, but they have some really fun, interesting colors, and that's why I wanted to kind of point these out. They're really different. I mean, they're a little gloppy, so we're gonna see how it layers, but the color selection that they have is really insane. So we're gonna go in with this red one. I can't tell. I kind of think I liked it better before without the shine. I thought this would be a little bit chunkier and more metallic, but it's not bad. I mean, it is pretty. All right, so I am going to do my final step by spraying my face with this Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Spray. And then we are going to go in with this Make It Dewy. I actually love doing that. I will use a all-nighter, something to elongate my makeup or an oil control. And then I'll take something a little bit more dewy and hydrating on top of that. So we're gonna test this guy out. Oh, much better mister on this one. This is the finished look. I like a lot of it. I can already tell there are a few products that I have had issues with already and I feel are gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna go have lunch and I'm gonna sit back down in a few hours from now and tell you my overall thoughts on these products, which ones I absolutely adore and which ones just didn't make the cut that I won't be using again. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, it is 3.30 in the afternoon and I am wanting to really retouch up this makeup and film another video. So I'm shutting this one down because I already have a good idea of what I like and what I don't. This has been on my face for uh, most of the morning and then had lunch and into the afternoon. So for a good amount of time and I do want to kind of rapid fire through these things. I'm really disappointed that the foundation went on so beautifully, but it is so shiny. Like I just feel like it's shiny and I did repowder a little bit and it still is just super shiny. It's very high transfer too. So if you even bump your skin at all, you're gonna have a fingerprint, you're gonna have a mark. There's a part of me that does wanna try it again, but with a real intense oil control primer underneath. So moving on from there, the concealer's a no for me, creased. The BH uh, palette right here I think is incredible. I'm definitely gonna play with this some more. 
The Jane Bronzer, no, just too long to build up. The eyebrow products were okay, but I don't think they compete with other stuff that I already have and use and love. The Hard Candy Palette for 10 bucks. I do say this is a good one for 10 bucks. You know, you get a ton of colors in here and what I was able to build out in the crease was pretty gosh dang good. So I think this is nice. The Fit Me Powder, I'm gonna have to use more because using it on a foundation that got so oily, I really couldn't tell. I really love this eye primer. I definitely am gonna use it more. It didn't ball up or feel greasy. It just like set my eyes really fast and I like that. I'm really disappointed that this went on so quickly and nicely, but it is gathering in the inner corner. So I will try this again, but I will set it with a black powder and hopefully it won't move around. It's not bleeding or anything on the top portion of my lid. I'm just having a little problem right here. And then the Ardell Sensual Eyes. I like this. I think this is great. They have a ton of different colors too. So for the price, I think this is awesome. The Kiko mascara, I think it's just the cutest wand. And I really like how I was able to get to that inner corner and I'm liking how it's wearing. It hasn't smeared, smudged, flaked, and I'm enjoying it. The highlight from e.l.f., oh my God, like, bam, 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 like this is incredible. Very, very budget friendly. Uh, really, really good job on that whole package and the formula I am into. The model's own lippy right here. I wish I had just kind of kept it completely matte because it looked so beautiful on its own and I love the little peppermint vanilla kick in here. And then we have the gloss topper. Why do I have the wrong shade in front of me? These lip tonics, jury's out. I think if you're looking for interesting colors, these might be fun. The red one really only looked kind of like a red gloss on top of my lips. Let's just kind of see what happens here. Like this one's way more metallic. All right, things are just getting weird. I need to stop. Okay, the ColourPop blush, I really like. It blended like a dream. It's still very rosy and I see the color there still, so I love this. The uh, Boots Primer, again, I'm gonna have to try it with another foundation because I can't really tell what was interfering with what, but I will be sure to update you guys. These setting sprays that I tried, the Milani has the much better mister and the Revolution one just smelled like chemicals, so I don't think that I will be spraying my face with that again anytime soon. And there is your wrap up. I hope you enjoyed me testing out a bunch of drugstore items. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. I love you so much. Go and have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah!